Hey there and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Target's Attitude. And it's my professor of knives and all things sharp. So I'm back. Grab your pens and papers. Class is about to begin. Today we're taking a look at a newer one from Civili. Chevrolet. Okay, I'm not sure. Chevrolet makes it sound like it's a car. It maybe it's supposed to be pronounced Chevalier, or I'm not really sure. If it was French, it would be pronounced Chevrolet, but it's not. It's Chinese, so who knows? We'll go with Chevalier. Sounds better. Um, before we get too far, though, let's get the syllabus work out of the way. I said welcome back, but that applies to me as well as you. It's as you can see, I'm still not having a great year this year. Um, fortunately, the band is going to come off the thumb soon, but it's still extremely tender. So I'll have to probably do a few things to get through the view, uh, the testing parts, but we'll work on it together. Um, for those of you new to the state channel, welcome. It's here on Fridays. We normally do knife reviews. Occasionally I'll do a review of some piece of camping equipment or survival gear, you know, flashlights, compasses, cooking equipment, that sort of thing, but mainly knives. Then on Mondays I will do a, a series called "What Knife Basics, which you really need to know. This is aimed more at the person who's new to the world of knives and wants to learn what we mean when we start calling out all these fancy terms. Check it out, I think you'll enjoy it. But for now, let's get on to what you're really here for, the knife. Uh, Chevalier is a nice knife. It's unlike most of these, it doesn't have a drop blade or clip point or you know, a modified tanto. No, it's got a sheep's foot, which is very unusual. It's a button lock, which means it it's extremely fidget friendly. It does have the extended tang, so you can use it as a flipper if you want. You can see it right there, and it works just fine. Like every other Civivi, it just pops right out there thanks to the cage bell bearings. It's got a G10 handle scales on it. Your pocket clip is set for deep pocket carry, and you can flip it to uh, left side of carry if you wanted to, um, which is nice. It's, I know a lot of people who are left-handed carriers. Um, unfortunately, the button lock can't be modified, so I'm not sure. Let's see here. Well, if I... Yeah. Ow, ow. Sorry. Um, yeah, I can work the button with my index finger. It's just awkward. Mainly because of bandage, but... So it's not too bad. Very sweet. Instead of the D2 that uh, Zavivi normally uses, this one is 14C28N, which is Scandinavian steel. <clears throat> fairly high on the corrosion resistance scale, which is very nice. It's got small folders on either side. Um, not that this is a heavy blade to begin with, but fairly nice thickness to the blade. Nice jumping. Very good positioning for the jumping. Nice ergometric and cut out the thumb. The trail is definitely a sharpening trail. It's not a finger trail. You're going to cut your finger if you try to use it as such. But then again, for a sheep's foot, you're, if you need to choke up, you're probably more likely to do it like this, like you were using a kitchen knife than um, using a finger trail. So that's not bad. It is four and a half inches closed. Blade is three and a half inches. Uh, all in all, just a very smooth, 
very pleasant looking blades and very sweet in the hand. But how well does it do with our same battery test? Let's find out. Or as best we can anyway. Piece of scratch paper here. Let's save it. Help if I could hold the paper a little better, but okay. Hey, it's cutting it. Sweet. Let's see how it does on a piece of cardboard. Standard cord gauge cardboard. And actually, that's not going to work. Just a minute. If at first, you don't succeed. Make out the. Lock backs uh, and okay. This a wee bit. There we go. And. Part of the problem is that it's trying to pull out of my left hand here, but as long as I can keep it in the vice grips, it's cutting fairly nicely, but yeah, not as great a test as I would have liked, mainly because I can't hold on to the damn thing. Sorry about that, but I got that. Let's see here. Hang packaging test using a gold peak T well that tip on a sheep's foot blade like this is not really designed to penetrate well but yeah I can't stab it in but you can there we go Again, if I think it would have done better if I'd been able to hold on to it well with my left hand, but we got it done. Sweet. Um, paracord. Let's get out some paracord here. That over there. And let's see here. Ah. Yeah. That's enough to see. That was nice. Yeah, pulling out of my thumb again. There we go. Can't pull away now. Yes, you can. You have the wrong set of base grips, obviously. Um, well, let's try... Try this way. Okay. Once I managed to get a hold of it in a way that uh, allowed me to keep it tight. Yeah. Making short work of the paracord, I just can't hold the paracord well. Let's see here. Piece of leather. Let's see how it handles this. So 
one work. See here. Okay. It's getting that up nicely. A little bit back is so thick that it's hanging up a little bit, but not bad. Not bad. It did work better, but I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, let's see here. Let's try zip tie. How well does it cut a zip tie? One. No. I'm not sure how level it is. It didn't bite into the zip cord as well as I would have liked, but it did okay. Let's see how it does on chopping. With that sheep's foot blade, it should. Yeah, that's fairly well on chopping. Let's see here. Feathering up a piece of cherry. Ow, no, I can't. Yeah, it's doing it. Be better if I could use my left thumb, but you know, let's see how it does on chopping. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, as I said, it's not made for stabbing into things. Yeah, it's just not going to do that. I'm not going to use a piece of cherry to try to put on a folding knife. I can't really hit with my left hand anyway, so that's kind of useless so we'll have to skip that test unfortunately but there's still two more tests we can do or at least try to do um, start with how will will it do and cutting a wiring harness Not bad at all. And splitting it. Um, yeah, I can't split it. I can't hold it. Well, maybe, maybe. No, it's sliding past my thumb. So that test will have to wait for another day. But we still have the ferro rod. Let's see how it does with that. Uh, it's not coated. It's stone washed, but not coated. And it's got rounded edges, but not that rounded. And it does have that nice jumping. Let's see how that jumping does. Nope. 
Let's go with the sharp meat oil. Ow. I accidentally got the edge of the blade there, and I don't know if you can see it. It's got just a hair of damage as a result of that, but not a lot. Let's see. Let's get that piece of paper out. I won't break sparks, but let's see. Still cutting okay, but uh, after the edge hit the uh, ferrule rod, I think I would prefer to touch it up before I start using it again. But you know what? All in all, it's not a bad knife. It's definitely a striking knife. You don't see that uh, the sheep's foot type blade on a flipper all that often. In fact, this is the first time I've seen a flipper with a sheep's foot blade. It plays beautifully. And it's got, uh, comes in a diff few different versions. Um, oh, come on. Come on, where is it? There we go. Okay. Uh, in addition to... This one with a stone wash, it comes with a micarta handle and a black washed um, blade. Comes with a wood handle and the uh, stone wash blade. And it comes with a wood handle and Savivis Damascus, which is always a beautiful, beautiful knife. So it's not a bad idea. Truthfully, I really like it. Um, See, so yeah, unfortunately, because I'm half jimped, I'm going to have to touch up the blade because I accidentally damaged it. But you know what? It didn't get damaged until I started running it against the ferro rod the way you're not supposed to. So I'm not going to complain about that. But we've got things I got to get done. This is starting to run on a little bit, so. I wish you luck. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you back next week when hopefully this will be off. And in the meantime, I'll leave you with a couple videos over here I think you'll enjoy. Of course, you can always hit that target there to subscribe. I hope you do. And remember, it may be ability that decides what you can't do. It may be motivation that decides what you will do. But it's attitude that decides how well you do it. So if you're going to do something, do it with attitude. See you now. Bye.